Regina from Backstage Press. I'm here with Fairview. Anybody? Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, go ahead. Um, I don't know, maybe Jack Nicholson could fill in. <laughs> Are you guys okay with that? Yeah, that's oh, fine. Yeah, that'd I'd love to see Jack Nicholson play like, sing, sing guitar. I'd have to say, um, I'd let Tommy Lee fill in me. He might bring some more excitement to our set with the whole spinning drum set. Yeah. Thing, so that'd be pretty cool. I'm going to say, uh, Jack Black. Okay. You'd, uh, bring Stage fire, style. I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Samuel L. Jackson, anyone? Oh, yes. yeah. That guy's all around. So we have like the Hollywood band. <laughs> and then yeah. Tommy. <laughs> that was good, right? uh, Will you guys be playing any new music tonight? We have one, we have one fairly new song that we've okay. been playing on this tour. And other than that, it's stuff off of our EP and a couple older songs. As well. I feel like after this tour is one we'll start working on uh, yeah. new material though. Yeah. So. Alright, and you guys are all from Ontario, right? Yes. yes. So you've been around here, so what are the top three venues that you'd like to play in your career in Ontario? I would say playing Sneaks is one of those ones that I've been waiting to play for a while. So playing Sneaks tonight is going to be awesome. Um, obviously playing like a big arena like Air Canada Centre would be amazing yeah. too. Um, any other venues? Oh, geez, I don't know. I'd say later we're playing uh, Back in Brockville. Back in, oh yeah, we're playing uh, later this month. We were playing at a theater in Buffalo, a couple of Buffalo Arts Center. I did call it there through high school. It's a really nice theater, mm -hmm. really big theater, so we're pretty excited to play. And there. that's where you're from, too, yeah. so that'd be good to play there. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. What are your goals for this fall? So, like, after the summer tour is done, you guys plan on doing? Recording an album. That's what we plan on doing and what we hopefully are going to do. So, uh, yeah. uh, definitely write and record an album and hopefully have it out by either late this year or early next year. Mm -hmm. And who do you plan on working with for that new album? Um, we have a bunch of names up in the air right now. We haven't really decided on anyone yet. Just kind of seeing our options out and listening to other stuff. I don't know. We're talking to different people right now, so mm -hmm. we haven't really decided on anyone. So what do you guys do in your downtime when you're not touring or recording? Go to it's school. It's <laughs> completely different, I'd say. Yeah. Whether work or school or just hanging out with friends, it's all like, pretty much. Yeah. Right now we're playing music, music, always, right? Right. Yeah, writing, playing. It's pretty much our damn time is working more. Yeah. So if you're not touring, <laughs> you're still practicing. Exactly. Right? Yeah. It's never gonna work out. Gonna work. Basically, I took tweets you guys have all said, and you have to guess who said what. However, I only have tweets from the three of you. That's all I can Okay, okay. So, alright. I'm out. So, Jordan, who do you think said, the cat under the bed, the cat was under the bed the whole time when we're going at it. Hashtag shit Riley says. Probably Brendan. I know Riley actually said, said it. That said that's Brendan's tweet. Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, Brendan, who do you think said... Uh, sorry, one second. Some dude in a... Wait. If stalking his sleeves was an Olympic sport, I'd be swimming in gold medals. Is that Steve? Did Steve say that? Yeah. Yeah, Steve said that. I can't repeat that. I um, if stalking his sleeves was an Olympic sport, I'd be swimming in gold medals. Can I guess this one? Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, you already guessed it. Oh, sorry. It's way on the end over there. You can't hear anything. All right. My Jason said, it has been It has been said that this tour is now named the We Don't Read Relationship Status This Tour. That's Jordan. What was it? Is that Jordan? No. I think that's every I'm gonna go. I'm gonna say Jordan. I think, I think at one point everyone on that tour tweeted that, but I think that, that tweet, I think it was, it was Jordan. It was Jordan. <laughs> All right. Uh, Steve, who do you think said, seriously, my Xbox better let me play Grand Theft Auto soon or I'm going to hit a real hooker with a baseball bat? That was me. <laughs> yeah, that guy for sure. Um, I said that. It was Jordan. Who's you? Yeah. Who do you remember? Um, and did it start working or did you have to go out and hit a hooker? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> He'll never tell. Alright, Brendan, who do you think said, uh, can't believe that my mother left me in Ikea to fend for myself while she took off. Hashtag right fishes. If it's a hashtag, it's Steve. Yep. Oh no. <laughs> Isn't that obvious? Yeah. Alright, um, like, who do you think said, one second. Only in Brockfield is a guy try to fight you in a family restaurant for supposedly staring at you. I'm gonna say you. No, I know no. This I know this one. Who? Who? Jordan. Yeah. Was it? Jordan. Yeah. And that is true. Only in Brockville does that happen. Yeah. 
So you just don't look anyone then? No, you don't look yeah, at anyone on your body. You go ahead and you look at your food when down. you go to a restaurant and Even nothing a family else. restaurant? Oh, yeah. look at your food. Even a family restaurant. Alright, so this you is for food. all of you guys, so just shout out whoever you think it is. Who do you guys think said, some dude in a wheelchair just crowd surf. Best show ever. Riley? No. <laughs> no, no. Oh, it's just us three. You. It was me, yeah. yeah. I was at Billy Town last year. That was one of the coolest <coughs> things I've ever seen in my life. Guy in a wheelchair. Yeah, wheelchair crowd yeah, it's just That's sweet. Awesome. Hopefully it happens at one of your shows. Yeah, I'd love I'd love to see that. That'd be so That's sweet. Cool. Alright, thank you guys for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Hey we're Fairview and you guys are watching Backstage Press. And the second time